Welcome to Education on Demand, where learning is limitless. Today's lesson is on SAT math, algebra. A typical question found in the SAT will read, the square of y is equal to nine times the square of z. If y is two more than three times z, what is the value of y? The first step of this equation is to convert the sentences in this word problem into algebraic expressions. The first sentence, the square of y is equal to nine times the square of z, can be rewritten as y squared equals nine z squared. The second sentence, y is two more than three times z, can be rewritten as y equals three z plus two. The next step is gonna be to substitute three z plus two for y in our first equation. The equation now reads, 3z plus 2 squared equals 9z squared. We're going to want to remember that 3z plus 2 squared can be rewritten as 3z plus 2 times 3z plus 2 equals 9z squared. We're going to want to utilize the FOIL method. FOIL method stands for first, outer, inner, last. Our first terms are 3z and 3z. 3z times 3z leaves us with 9z squared. Our outer terms are 3z and 2. 3z times 2 leaves us with 6z. Our inner terms are 2 and 3z. 2 times 3z leaves us with 6z. And our last terms, 2 and 2, 2 times 2 leaves us with 4. The equation now reads 9z squared plus 6z plus 6z plus 4 equals 9z squared. We're going to want to combine like terms of 6z and 6z. When we combine these terms, we're left with 9z squared plus 12z plus 4 equals 9z squared. Once again, we're going to want to combine like terms of 9z squared and 9z squared by subtracting 9z squared from both sides of the equation. When we do that, we're left with 12z plus 4 equals 0. We're going to want to remember to keep our variables and numbers on opposite sides of the equal sign. We can do that by subtracting negative 4 from both sides of the equation. We're left with 12z equals negative 4. We're going to want to isolate our z variable by dividing both sides of the equation by 12. When we divide on the left hand side, we're left with z. And when negative 4 is divided by 12, we're left with negative 4 over 12 or negative 1 third. We now know that z equals negative 1 third. The question asks us, what is the value of y? We can find this by substituting negative 1 third for z back into our second equation. The equation now reads y equals 3 times negative 1 third plus 2. 3 times negative 1 third equals negative 1. The equation now reads y equals negative 1 plus 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. As we can see, y equals 1. Or answer C. I hope this lesson helped you better prepare for your test. Subscribe to the Ivy Key channel and view new videos every day. If you have a test question, leave a comment below. And you can sign up for group classes and private lessons by visiting theivykey.com.